Well, hello YouTube. This is my very first YouTube video ever, so uh, bear with me here. Um, I'm also not a native uh, English speaker, so forgive me for my accent and uh, inability to uh, explain certain things very well. Um, uh, I want to uh, make a short tutorial about the program called Art of Illusion, which, uh, which in my opinion is one of the most easiest uh, 3D modeling tools available, and it's free, it's open source, so uh, that's great. If you are a beginner to 3D modeling, this is uh, definitely one of the best uh, software to use. In my opinion, it's very uh, intuitive and uh, it's very great. So, um, I, I noticed uh, there weren't a lot of tutorials uh, out there on the internet, so I decided to uh, go ahead and uh, make some of my own. Um, in this video, I would like to show you some of the basics uh, of Art of Evolution. For example, um, navigating through Art of Evolution and using some of the most primitive tools. I'm not going to go into um, uh, modeling techniques and stuff. I'll uh, cover that in uh, some later tutorials that I might do in the future. Um, I will also, also, I'll begin with um, showing you how to set up Art Evolution first because um, there are some things um, that you need to download like plugins and uh, scripts that you absolutely must have in order to uh, get the most out of this program because with, without those um, you can't do really that much with this program so it's really uh, the, the plugins that make it great basically so I'll show you how to install those as well at this point I have to switch to a different audio track, so I apologize for the different uh, audio quality. Okay, so um, what I would first like to do is show you how to download Artvolution. It will be the first step of course. You go to www.artofillusion.org and go to the downloads page and um, Download from there, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, and when you um, download it and open it for the first time, like I said, you won't have all the necessary uh, plugins. So what you then want to do uh, is go to the go to Tools, uh, Scripts and Plugins Manager, and this will bring up a little interface that will manage your it allows you to manage your um, uh, plugins and scripts and also download them automatically however sometimes in some cases um, it doesn't uh, seem to be connecting well to the server where the plugins are stored so I'm also going to show you an alternate uh, way of getting these plugins I'll probably post a link in the description where you can uh, get these uh, plugins, plugins and scripts and I'll show you how to install them uh, manually so if you go to the install tab here uh, you, you just saw that it um, was uh, scanning for plugins and stuff so this time it, it is working but uh, the last time I checked it, was, it, it wasn't so uh, yeah, the, uh, I, like I said, I have a link post in the description, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So when you've downloaded uh, the links the, from the link that I've provided, um, you go to the directory where your Artvolution application is stored, or is installed, should I rather say. And there you you'll see two folders, one called plugins, one called, one called scripts, and uh, you'll just um, put um, the downloaded uh, files in there, should be pretty easy. The, scripts, the script folder is um, divided into two, uh, three folders, and you should um, yeah, put uh, all the scripts in the right folders. So, when you've done that, Let's go back to our evolution. When you've done that, uh, you should restart our evolution, and you'll see 
these additional tools and they're pretty handy okay so uh, that uh, when that's done I'm going to show you uh, how to get started with uh, Artvolution by showing you some of the basics I'm not going to go into any modeling uh, stuff right now just how to navigate through uh, Artvolution so when I open a new project um, I usually start by clicking these grid lines because I like to um, see what I'm doing and I like to uh, have this as some kind of measurement and I'll also delete this light the light source because I don't need it but of course you can uh, leave it there if you want um, alright how to navigate uh, you can use this, your scroll wheel to uh, zoom in and out obviously and when you click your scroll wheel your third mouse button you can um, rotate um, around a certain point for the view and if you use the right mouse button you can pan it's pretty easy another um, handy thing to know th um, is that if you when you hold down the control key and um, use your uh, scroll wheel uh, your third mouse button you can rotate it uh, along, along the axis of the uh, camera so that's a pretty handy thing to know um, you notice that I have uh, one object here in my scene called camera and I'll, when I zoom out you can see it here it's also one of the objects that um, that you start with initially when you open a new project and this camera is basically um, what you see in this view so when I zoom in and out here you can see the object changing and also of course when I drag this around you can see the um, view in the right corner uh, changing <coughs> so that's uh, all there is to it uh, uh, for navigation I'm going to show you some pretty basic um, stuff you can do like drawing uh, prim primary objects and uh, primitive objects you can create a primitive by clicking on one of these tools or by going here create primitive you can also create lights, light sources and cameras and what, uh, what not so well, you can uh, draw some primitive shapes like a sphere on a cube and you'll notice that this is, this is not a, a perfectly round sphere so what you can do is hold shift and it drags out a nice uh, sphere with uh, equal dimensions also a cylinder so. and this tool over here allows you to resize it and this one allows you to rotate and this tool over here is very handy because uh, it combines these three tools like movement moving I haven't showed you that moving and rotating and resizing all in one like if you click on the X you can move it along the X axis so that also works when you're not in the front view like you're in the like you are rotated around you can still just move it along the X axis so this is a very powerful tool and you can scale it by using this uh, icon here along the x, x, x axis the y axis and you can rotate it by uh, dragging along these circles so this is um, that wraps, uh, wraps up the basic uh, navigation through Art Evolution it's pretty easy uh, here are some um, other tools I would like you to show you if I have time probably not but um, I hope so anyway 
this is the curve tool which allows you to create a line which you can use um, for various things uh, in your modeling process later and here we have another cube and when you drag it out let's go to the front view again when you drag it out it looks just like a regular cube only this is not a cube this is a poly mesh and if you open this double click it you uh, get into the poly mesh editor and I'll get uh, into this uh, thing uh, later later on in, uh, in a later tutorial because this is a whole topic in and of itself it's a really powerful tool powerful tool to create objects but uh, I'll go into that later um, oh yeah, so one more thing to I want to show you is these buttons over here this, these are display modes like this is a wireframe uh, I believe this is the one you start on a oh no this, this, this is the smooth one this is the default um, setting this is a I don't know how it's called just not smooth and this one is textured al although it's uh, quite primitive it doesn't show textures correctly or anything you, you really need to render an image to uh, get the textures to show up uh, correct and this one is a trans transparent tool so that let, lets you sh uh, look through objects and still see the the shading and, or the curvature or whatever you want to call it so I'm thinking, I think I'm running out of time, hi time here, so uh, I'll conclude this tutorial and uh, I'll, see you, uh, I'll see you all in another tutorial. I hope uh, you've enjoyed this and uh, I hope uh, this was helpful. So, uh, bye bye.